The Book of You and Me. The Book of You and Me, yeah. It's, it's out this Thursday. Um, it's, it's a creative journal, so anyone with an imagination, really, it's just like a load of fun, really. It's a jokes book. It ain't little biography. Yeah. It has got some of my ways in there and little bits of stories about me, but it's more of just a bit book, book of fun, really. Because you can actually... I mean, you're getting people to draw things, like hairstyles. There's, like, pictures of, so they yeah. can draw a, a yeah. hairstyle for you. you what, like, you get... mean you wrote half a book and left lots of gaps for people to fill in? Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was easier than the first one, let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> and you get people to do um, like silly things like get a selfie with a postman and yeah, then exactly, tweet yeah. you with it. Yeah, or you can like, get your chewing gum, you can stick it on the page, and that's pretty random, but you can yeah. do that. Oh, that's somewhere. a great thing to teach yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stick your chewing gum in a book. <laughs> <laughs> and is this a book? Did you do this because you think this is the kind of book you'd like to have and be involved with and read yourself if it was somebody else's? Yeah, I just think I just think it's sort of the book I've wanted when I was like maybe a teenager or a bit younger, just a, just a jokes book, really. It's nothing serious, mm. it's, just, it's just a book of fun. Well, there's all sorts of things in here. Um, you're saying about... Five, you think people should always be able to say hello in five different languages. Yeah. And we've seen you travel all over the place. Hola, gracias. No, gracias. Thank you, innit? Sorry. All right, so yeah. can you do five? <sighs> Hola. Yeah. Bonjour. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah. Three. Um, Melsi. Melsi. No, that's thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Three, yeah, three's all right, isn't it? It's over half. It's, o five, not bad. it's over halfway. <laughs> what, what do you think about people not thinking you're the brightest crayon in the box? I, I don't mind it. I mean, it's, it's where I am today. It's got to be where I am. So yeah. um, I, I'm not really bothered by it. I, from a, from a kid, I always knew that I weren't going to be the cleverest kid growing up. So I just sort of just sort of thought of it as a, pos a positive way. Yeah. And that's, but actually, that's you know, on, on a more serious note, we don't talk about that very often, because you're always such great fun, but, you know, your, your mum died when you were quite young, and you say, actually, you feel that that did stop you at school. It was like somebody putting the brakes on your learning, mm. that you just closed down, really. Yeah, I mean, no, I, th I don't think that was a really problem with it. I just ge generally thought I weren't really academically clever. I weren't, I didn't know, like, I still, you put me in a maths test today, I'd probably get a U. Mm. I just don't, I just don't know, I just, I just didn't, do any well with my GCSEs, didn't know how to do it. Still I don't. Do think, I do think that, you know, it is an important lesson for kids who aren't particularly yeah. academic to know that they can still amount to something and still exactly, make something yeah. of themselves. And, you know, I am really thankful for you for that because I've got two children and one of them, she's not yeah. she's not academic, but I still think she's, she can go but on like to In do school, I, ne amazing. I never give up. I always, I really did try hard. I really tried hard in school. Mm. I never give up. Would you tell your kids to do that? Like, yeah. One day when you have kids, would you say, look, I want you to try hard and I want you yeah, to... Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a good school, I had a good education. I just, again, I just weren't, just weren't, didn't have the yeah. brain. But isn't there a danger, Joey, that kids might look at you and think, Joey's made loads of money, he's doing really well. Well, well I'm in not a way. Don't bother at school. Don't you think you should send out a message? No, because You've got to try and I have, pass and that's what I always say. I, I, I never, ever give up in school. I never give up. I tried so hard. I even done my GCSEs and I failed all my yeah. GCSEs. And I was the only person in my year out of, I don't know, 400 students who went back up to school. And done another year and pleaded yeah. to do another well, as you year. Say, you're, you're certainly yeah. a trier and, and you're great fun. And we watch all these things. One thing I loved it on this is your bucket list. And one yeah. of the things on your bucket list is that you've never tried a deep fried Snickers bar. Nah. So we would like to remedy <laughs> that. So you can tick <laughs> this off. Here we go. Well, you want to try this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a deep fried bucket list. Yeah, true, you can true, tick true. it. You've got to do it. Yeah? Just pick it up with your fingers. <laughs> We're not I proud here. It looks like, it looks like a hot like, sausage thing out of it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Is that what it's for? Deep fried <laughs> Snickers bar. Is it nice? Is it like? What do you think? No. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Yeah? Depends <laughs> on something you get out of a fun for or something, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Mm. Well, you don't, listen, you don't have to like it to get off mm. your bucket list. We tick that one off. Where is it? I mean, it there's a lot of book? calories in that bite. Yeah? I reckon 200 calories. That's about yeah. 1,000 calories right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Mm. I'm ticking that off your bucket list, okay? Thank you, yeah. Just there's your first one done. Uh, the book, as I said, is Joey Essex, The Book of You and Me. It's great fun. Always lovely to see you. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much. Nice to see you, women.